Well, it is apparent that another job is done. You can see that this pipe comes down and feeds these heads underneath the stainless. And that was what was so hard to drill. But we got a punch and was able to punch it. So we got these heads in right there and heads on the other side. All right. Here. Okay, All right. Yeah, this one was a doozy. Let's get out of here. I'll show you why it was so doozy. Oh, pardon me. Because of all the clean room stuff. This is why it was a doozy right here. There's your long drop. And there's all the important people. So anyway, let's get out of here. As always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these little adventures. You know the girl. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Oh, before I go, I want you to see this tie-in and how it works. You see, I jumped up there. Look at how level and plumb that is. Right there with a 90 saddle. Oh, you got to love it. All right. Peace. Okay, it is apparent that I was at this, or I am at this undisclosed location. And that pipe used to nipple 90 right here with an 04 and go underneath that. But they couldn't open their door to clean it. So what I did was I dropped it down four foot nine. And I had this bracket on the other side that I was able to utilize. And then I was able to drill some stainless right there. One stainless steel unistrut strap, and that was a booger. So up and over and all that for just that little head right there. All right, I don't know what you can see, but there you go. One loop around is what we'll call this. Well, howdy ho, good neighbor. Today I'm at an undisclosed location. And as you can see, they have this new cold box in here and they want me to put fire sprinklers above it. But how do I even get up in here to drill? I got to reach over, but he's got to be dry pinning heads. So the sprinkler line needs to be six and a half inches above there. And you can see that there's plumbing right there plumbing right there, there's plumbing right there, so there's too much stuff in the way, so we're going to have to figure out a way to relocate this fire sprinkler piping, but it never fails, they draw it up, and boy is it easy on paper. Everything's easy on paper. Oh, and plus, not by the way. Oh, you see that? I think they're trying to kill us. Wow. And it's open asbestos. It's not even sealed. All right. Gotta love fire sprinkler work. Well, it is apparent that I'm in a undisclosed location and you can see that the restroom has its key protector and out here splash guards you gotta love it and COVID's gonna stay over there it can't get through the duct tape We're testing the fire sprinkler system. We have to pump this brand new fire sprinkler system up to 200 pounds. There's where we get the water at the bottom of the check valve. There's where it's inlet, where we're putting the water in. We're at 75 pounds. Pumping up for about a half an hour and it's gone 25 pounds. 
So I gotta make it all the way up to 200 pounds. I had it on that barrel, but it wants to move around and fall off. If I take my feet off, it vibrates around and wants to move. Okay, as always, Okay, I'm going to change these 401 heads to concealer heads, but the problem I have is when I pull this nipple, someone needs to be downstairs to catch the drop. i got five, eight heads that way. Okay, we only want to change the eight heads that are above the rack. The other two are staying. So just the heads that are above the rack, three quarter inch 401s, we'll change them to concealers. So we'll see how you do that. Nipples, you need somebody to help catch that head when we pull it from the top. Thank you.